Greetings, and welcome to the Aruba Central AOS CX Switching demo series. The focus of this video is to show the use of template groups to manage Aruba CX switches. This demo will cover the following tasks, how to create a template group, how to move switches into a template group, creating a new configuration template using an existing switch configuration, creating and modifying device variables, editing a configuration template to add variables and conditional checks, and auditing configuration status. So with that, let's start the demo. The first step to working with AOS CX templates is to create a template group. Select the green Add Group Plus icon in the top right corner of the Groups list. In the Add Group dialog, enter a descriptive name for the new group and ensure that the Use Preferred Group Settings toggle is disabled. Under Group Will Contain, select Switches. Enable the Configure Using Templates toggle and ensure that the For Switches setting is checked. Select Next to continue. In the following page, select AOS CX only as the type of switches to be used in the group and leave Make These the Preferred Group Settings unchecked. Select Add to create the group and ensure that it is then displayed in the Groups list with the green TG indicator next to the group name. To move a switch into the group, expand All Connected Devices, locate and select the switch from the list, and then select the Move Devices button. From the Move Devices dialog, select the new template group from the Destination Group drop-down menu, verify that the Destination Group settings displayed are correct, then select Move to confirm. Verify that the switch has been moved by expanding the template group in the list. Next, select the gear icon to the right of the group name to open the group configuration page. To create a new template, select the plus symbol icon in the upper right corner of the template list. On the first page of the Add Template dialog, assign a template name without spaces or special characters other than dashes or underscores, a switch model, part name, and AOS CX version that the template will apply to. The model, part name, and or version can be set to all to allow the template to apply to multiple devices. Select Next to continue. On the second page, select Import Configuration as Template, choosing the switch you just added to the group. This will add the full switch configuration to the new template. Once you've reviewed the imported configuration, select Save to return to the template list. Select the Variables tab. The Variables page displays a list of all currently defined variables for devices in the group, along with the option to download and upload variables files in JSON or comma-separated value, or CSV, formats. Ensure that CSV is selected, select the Download Variables button to download the current variable set, and open it in a local editor such as Excel. The first line of the CSV file contains the name of each defined variable, one per column, and each subsequent line contains the values for each variable for each device assigned to the group. The third column contains a variable named modified, which is set to N for no by default. Whenever a device's variables are changed, this value must be changed to Y for yes before re-uploading the file. Add the new variables and their values in line 2 as shown. Change the value of the modified variable to Y, and then save the file. From the Variables page, ensure that the file format is still set to CSV, select Upload Variables File, and select the modified file to be uploaded. Once the upload is complete, the message Variables File Uploaded Successfully should appear. Once the page is refreshed, any new variables with assigned values will appear in the Variables list. Now, return to the Templates page and open the Configuration template by selecting the Edit button near the right end of the line. Scroll down to the section Interface VLAN 1 and replace the existing content as shown. When a configuration is generated from this updated template, the VLAN 1 IP address variable is checked for the string value Y. If present, then continue to the next line. If any value is present for the variable VLAN 1 use DHCP, configure IP DHCP, and skip static IP address configuration. Otherwise, skip to the else statement and proceed with static IP configuration. If, on the other hand, 
VLAN 1 IP address is blank or contains any value other than Y, skip to the second else statement and configure no IP DHCP. Note that each if statement must be accompanied by an end if statement, and that when multiple if statements are nested within each other, each end if applies only to the closest if statement above it. Select Show Variables list and verify that the variables referenced in the template are displayed. Once complete, select Save to apply the template to the switch. Next, open the Configuration Audit page. The configuration status may display not in sync if Central's device configuration does not match the actual device configuration, such as when a template is modified. Select View Details to open the status pop-up and display the central generated configuration. Note that Interface VLAN 1 is configured with a static IP address, matching the variables and conditional checks defined in the template. Once the page is refreshed after a few seconds, the configuration should now be in sync. Under the All Devices list, the Config Sync and Template Error status icons are red when an issue exists or gray if there are no errors present.